we have been taking lots of uh, walks lately at school here. We go around the block and we turn left and then we turn left and we turn left again and we turn left again and then we're back at school again. Sometimes we go across the street because there is a forest there and we hear rustling, rustling of leaves and sometimes we hear rustling that isn't the wind and it's a little creature who's gray. See if you can guess what creature I'm talking about. Lives in the trees. Are you getting more clues? Has a bushy tail and a cute little nose and likes to collect nuts. Who do you think it is? Yes, it's a squirrel. And we have a little song that we sing at school called Gray Squirrel. And uh, I'd like to sing it for you. Are you ready? Some of you might know this song. It goes like this. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. You could squish, swish your tail. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Put a nut between your toes. Squiggle up your little nose. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. And then you can go on to the whole family. You can do mama squirrel, mama squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Then you could do who else? Who's in your family? You could do grandma squirrel. You could do auntie squirrel. You could do sister squirrel. And you could go through your whole family if you want to. So I hope you sing that song the next time you see a little squirrel. They might like it. They might stop and listen to you a little bit. Maybe they'll share their nuts with you. This is a book called Nuts to You, and it's by Lois Ellert, and I hope that you like it. It is about a silly little squirrel and what he gets up to and the things that he sees outside. See that squirrel in our tree? I think he'd rather live with me. What does he have in his mouth? A little peanut. I'll wait a while. He could be shy. Or maybe he likes it way up high. This is a great book because it's got a lot of little hidden other creatures and things to spy. Do you see the dragonfly? Look! Here he comes. Trying to hide. He can't wait to get inside. He's in the flowers. He's really bad. He's digging up bulbs. My mom is mad. Show me a mad face. Mm. That is a pesky squirrel. Pesky. That means gets into trouble. There he goes up the bricks. On his claws, he steals seeds and eats with his paws. That's what the squirrels do at my house too. They hang upside down and backwards and hang off the bird feeders. Look at those birdies looking at him. It says what in the little words what they're called. They're called this is called an American goldfinch, that bird. Walking on tiptoe, tail held high, he brushes my plants as he zips by. Oh, look, there's a monarch butterfly. Looks like he's in the tomato plants. In our window box, watching us eat, he sits on the flowers and begs for a treat. I opened my window for some fresh air, but I forgot that the screen had a tear. <gasps> a little tear. What do you think that the squirrel will do with that little tear? Do you think he's going to sneak inside? Do you think so? Let's see what happens. <gasps> when I came back, guess what I found? That squirrel was there looking around. Where's that squirrel now? Found a ball, yeah, and is looking in a mirror at himself. So I got some nuts, ran out the door, 
tapped one on the sidewalk and left a few more. Do you spy the nuts on the sidewalk? Yes, I see them below. They are below, they are down low. They're beside the dandelion flower. They're next to it, they're beside it. Nuts to you, I shouted loud as I could. That squirrel peeked out. I knew he would. Oh, do you see the tear behind him? I wonder what that bird is thinking about that little squirrel. He looked to the left. He looked to the right. Ooh, can you do this part? He looked to the left. He looked to the right. Good job. He ran down the bricks and took a big bite. Can you pretend that you're the squirrel? Ah, um, delicious. He ate all those nuts, then scampered away. But he'll get hungry again someday. Scamper. Hmm. Scamper. If you picture in your mind what it looks like when a squirrel moves, it's a scamper. Maybe you can try scampering on your own or notice if anything else scampers around you besides a squirrel. Look at him. Oh, he cracked it open. He's so smart. Look, there are the shells on the ground because he is busy and he got the nut just by itself. I'll keep nuts in my pockets, one or two, and when I see him, I'll say, say it with me, say nuts to you. And when I see him, I'll say, nuts to you. Do you see him hiding anywhere? Do you see him hiding? Good. You can leave little treats and things for squirrels at your house too. They like all kinds of things. They like corn and they like bird seed best of all and they like nuts. They'll really eat anything at all. So I hope that you learn the song Gray Squirrel with your family and that you enjoyed our pesky little scampering squirrel today and I'll see you soon.